Well, here we are. I'm at home. Uh, I had the operation yesterday. That was kind of five-ish. And uh, I got discharged from the hospital this morning. So um, the video that you're going to see now is me at various stages before the operation, after the operation last night, and uh, this morning having breakfast and then a kind of a last little chat in the hospital uh, before I leave. Now, I, at the moment, I feel fantastic. I feel completely pain-free. Uh, I, I had a very short stride in my leg. I just couldn't stretch my leg out to walk. And already I, I could just feel the difference. I, I've still got some pins and needles um, in my right foot, but that's not really even half as bad as it was. And that may take another a week to settle down. Uh, but no complications, um, even though when you have your first meeting with a consultant, they tell you all the horror stories of everything that can go wrong. And then you have to sign to say that you're willing to accept that. But um, no complications at all. The wound's good. Um, good news that they use dissolving stitches. So I don't have any clamps to pull out, which is great. So I go back on Tuesday. Um, and what I'm going to do is when the dressing comes off, I don't know whether they put another one on or not, um, but if I can, I'll do a video after that and uh, I'll show you the wound. And I will give a big warning to everybody um, that the wound's coming because not everybody wants to see anything horrible like that, but uh, it'll be there. So uh, I hope you enjoy this little video. I'm a bit out of it, a bit spaced out at the beginning. Uh, or just after the operation, but uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, bye. Well, here I am. I'm in my room now. Um, let's just have a quick look around. So, in the toilet, uh, nice and spacious. Um, it's very clean, everything's very good. Um, let's just have a quick look at the bed. There we go. So, um, yeah, it's a nice room. TV, nice window, PowerPoints, Wi-Fi. And uh, really, I'm just waiting now to get called through for the operation. Not really feeling nervous, um, but I haven't had it yet. We'll see what it's like a bit later on. I'll keep you updated. Well, I've seen the um, surgeon and I've seen the anaesthetist and I've seen the nurse and uh, we've had a good chat. So it's the surgery next. Now, interestingly, all three of them at separate times spoke about the pain after the operation. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no, no! No! So that sounds like it's uh, going to be a big deal. We'll, we'll see about that. Um, but they're going to give me plenty of painkillers. <gasps> Blimey. Oh. Well, just out of surgery now. Um, throat's a little bit sore, but they said that it would be like that for a day or two. And then should go back to normal. Um, didn't know a thing. Was chatting away to the anaesthetist. And... Uh, then I've woken up back in the room. Um, so I've wiggled my toes, I can move my legs. So that's, uh, that's, a, that's a good sign. So they've not told me how it's gone yet. Um, but uh, yeah, it feels okay. Um, pain's beginning to nip in, in the back, so it's a bit uncomfortable. But, um, so far, so good. I think I was in theatre about 45 minutes. Um, not really sure. Um, feel a bit woozy, but um, sort of gradually coming out of that now. Put an order in for breakfast and just ordering a sandwich. So it's about 5.30 in the evening. Um, so I haven't had anything since breakfast this morning. Um, but not so bad, not so bad. Mm, chicken sandwich uh, with a coffee. And I haven't eaten since seven this morning, so it's about 
5.30ish now, so I'm quite peckish. Uh, looks okay, actually. Nice. Here I am. Very good. There's the uh, back of the room. There's the bed. Um, bit croaky, but he said that would wear off after a couple of days. So, all good. So, this is a bit tricky to do, but hopefully you can see that. Um, there's a big X marks the spot in case they forgot where it was and there's a big dressing on there um, so I think that will come off in about five days um, doesn't feel too bad at the moment so it's about I don't know I think 11 o'clock at night now so I'm a few hours in after the op but uh, not too bad well it's about um, 10 30 now I think and operation was five-ish so um, I think the anaesthetic is wearing off and they've given me some um, ibuprofen and something else very low-key for the pain but actually at the moment it's not too bad uh, I've just got another cup of tea and some more biscuits and um, I'm hoping I'll have a nice night's sleep. They come in every couple of hours just to check the blood pressure, temperature, oxygen levels. That's all been okay so far. So up to this moment, anyway, the anticipation that the pain was going to be off the scale um, hasn't proved to be true, but we'll see, we'll see how we go. Okay. Well, this is very nice. Uh, ordered scrambled egg for breakfast and coffee. And that's exactly what I've got. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, about half past seven or something now. Uh, let's have a quick look. There we go. Lovely. Room's still good. Beautiful. Uh, it's been nice and easy overnight. I had a couple of hours sleep from about 2 to 4.30. Uh, I laid on my side as I, I was told to, so that's the best position. And actually, I, I got got some nice sleep. It was pretty good. Um, I, I wasn't in a lot of pain for the other times. It was just I was fully awake. So I just went on YouTube looking at stuff um, and looking forward to my breakfast now and my coffee. Okay, so I'll update later. Now, just a quick thing. I'm in a fantastic hospital. Cutting edge technology, everything's fantastic. Breakfast was lovely. But 2,000 years of uh, technical evolution. They haven't su sussed out the coffee pot yet. Watch this. Dripping everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should go into the uh, coffee teapot business and make one that just always pours without dripping. <laughs> well, um, I've just had a, a meeting with the nurse, so I'm actually discharged now, and uh, I'm amazed. I'm walking around, no problem. Um, I've got a big bag of drugs to go home with, but really nothing serious. It's stuff like ibuprofen, um, when you have a uh, general anaesthetic, I think it can um, bung you up a bit. So there's uh, something for that and there's something for my stomach to protect the lining when you're having all of these painkillers. But there is codeine in there, but you should only take it if you need it. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. I'm amazed really. Back feels fantastic. Feels really good. Um, I asked about the stitching because I think depending on what the procedure is, you could have um, dissolving stitches or you could have staples, which sounds bloody awful. Um, but it is actually the dissolving ones. So I come back, I think, in, in next Tuesday and then um, they'll check the wound, make sure that the stitches are dissolved or dissolving. Um, I've got a dressing on it, which they say, um, don't take off, don't have a shower, just have a kind of a, a flannel wash. So it's got to stay on all the time until the next week. Um, but that's no hardship. Uh, God, I'm really 
really delighted and relieved. I can't believe it. It's so much less painful than I thought it was going to be. Hopefully, it'll, it'll have all the success that I was hoping for as well. Um, uh, I can already feel my stride is a bit better even now. Um, so I've got, to, I've got to build up walking. I can't drive for, um, I think, six weeks. Um, but that's, that's actually okay because we, we sold a car recently. We've just got one. And I've ordered a lease car and it was meant to be here this week. Now that's obviously no good. I wouldn't be there to pick it up. But it's going to be delayed now till later in the month. So actually, that's going to save us a bit of money because we won't be paying for it um, for a few weeks. <sighs> anyway, I'll keep going and I'll add more to this video. Uh, or maybe I'll split it into another video to say how I get on in a week. Uh, but here we are. Really good.